Hi, this is Robert O'Brien. I'm here to talk to you today about Shopify's inventory control. This is a tutorial if you want to use or not use Shopify's inventory control function. So Shopify offers a sample inventory management tool as part of its package. You may use the tool but are not required to. Today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of the inventory management tool in Shopify. So why use Shopify's inventory control. Well, inventory control is useful if you are a large business and you need to track your inventory. However, if you're a small store like me, visual inventory control is simple and effective. By using Shopify's inventory control, you can always see how many items uh, are for sale available to sell in your store. Uh, this is uh, especially useful if you are drop shipping where you can't see your inventory every day physically. The inventory control feature has an option that allows you to stop selling or keep selling even if you are out of stock. This gives you lots of flexibility and offers controls and options. Option number one. Option number one is I am sold out. Uh, Shopify allows a product to show that it is sold out. Make sure that you show the related products on your product page. You hate to lose a sale because a customer leaves your store in disappointment. Related products are easy to show. Enable this feature in your themes product page layout. Sold out is useful in creating a sense of urgency. For example, you might be selling several styles of signed limited edition prints. Shopify's inventory control will allow you to show your customer how many prints are available to sell and when it is sold out. If your product page redirects your customer to other prints for sale, you would have created a sense of urgency to buy another style of print before those also become sold out. Option number two, don't use Shopify's inventory controls. Most of us have multi-channels selling our products. Multi-channel, that's just a fancy way of saying eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and your bricks and mortar store. Keeping track of your inventory available for sale in all your sales channels is a daunting task. There are apps to manage this, but most of, the, most of us, the apps are too expensive and too complex to manage. Since most of our stores are simple operations, we manage our inventory usually by looking at what's on the shelves and in our floor. And um, But what happens when you run out of stock? It becomes An item becomes out of stock. Selling out of stock items. Every now and then it happens. You're out of stock. Shopify has a way to address the out of stock issues. If you use the inventory controls function, simply chose to sell through. That, that's my definition of selling through means the customer will purchase something that you did not physically have in stock to ship. It's not a sin to do this. Perhaps the item is in transit and will arrive shortly and you'll be able to ship it in a timely manner and save your sale. When you allow the customer to purchase something you don't have in stock, it's urgent that you contact your customer to, do, uh, to give them a heads up and uh, give them a realistic delivery date for the item or suggest an alternative item that would fulfill their needs. For a small shop, this is the best option. I suggest doing this by phone. It is the most expedient method. Most customers don't mind waiting a few days or hearing about your alternative options. If the customer does not want to wait a few days or wants an alternative item or doesn't want an alternative item, you can always refund them their money. To allow a product to sell through, click the box that says always allows customer purchases to purchase this product when it's out of stock on the product page. You also have to enable Shopify to track the um, inventory as well. I've circled it in red on the screen. Option number four is hide the product. You can change the visibility 
until you get inventory back in, in stock. I do not advise hiding the product unless you're never going to sell that item again. Hiding products will confuse your customers and <clears throat> Google as well. You may forget to make it visible again when you get back, get it back in stock. It's not advisable. Uh, I wouldn't do this. To control visibility, click the visibility box at the type right hand, top right hand side of the product pages I'm showing on your screen now. Option number five, another strategy. Whoops. Option number five, another strategy. In my shop, Good Life Tea, I use a combination of inventory control systems. I sell a combination of tea and teaware. Monitoring the amount of tea I have on hand is easy because it's very visual. I simply look at the shelf and see which glasses, glass jars are getting low. But my teaware is another story. Since I keep some of it on the selling floor and some of it in my storage area, it's hard to see exactly how much inventory I have. So for my teaware, I use Shopify's inventory controls. However, since I do not use Shopify's POS, my inventory is not always exact. If I did use Shopify's POS, then my, in my inventory wouldn't be exact since the POS and e-commerce uh, would be integra integrated nicely. I tried the POS once and it was not adequate for me because I sell tea by the ounce and the Shopify POS does not accommodate this style of inventory. For my POS, I use ShopKeep. Pro tip. My teaware, I set the inventory count to about one quarter of my total stock. This means I have 12 red tea. This means if I have 12 red teapots, I list three in my Shopify inventory. I do this because from my experience, I know that out of the 12 teapots I, I will sell, about three will be through Shopify and nine in my store. By referring to the inventory page on Shopify, I get a good picture of what inventory needs to be reordered. I hope my insights have given you some pros and cons of using Shopify's inventory control system. The important takeaway is that this is a tool that can be turned on and off for specific items, products that you sell. The inventory can, control can be used as an approximation tool of how much you have on hand. Even though it's not entirely accurate, it provides clues as to what to reorder so that you're never out of stock. Finally, my Shopify wants. I would like to get email notifications when my inventory levels get low. Second, I would like to keep tabs on my inventory through email. Second, uh, also make the POS work for ounces so I can use it as my POS. And I wanna thank you for watching today. Uh, you can read this entire transcript below. Uh, and also check out my website, my Shopify website, goodlifetea.com. Thanks a lot. This is Robert O'Brien.